Yeah. Welcome to the first episode, or maybe just some episode of me in the car talking to you about something that I experienced, or in this case that I'm experiencing right now. Um, hi, I'm Felix, and the idea is to show you things about EV driving mostly. Um, yeah, I have quite some experience, but I've never spoken about it on the internet a lot, but I will. And maybe you're thinking, why are you recording with this German radio station uh, in the background? Well, I would love to turn it off, but the thing is that I'm in a Jaguar I-Pace and the radio cannot be shut down. So, I am going to show you some things, thanks for looking at me for a little bit, and the car obviously has nice, nice seats, the sports seats as you can see. Anyway, um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and uh, show you what's happening. So here we are. First of all, this morning more things happened to me than yesterday, and you can see them in the screen, but I will show you the screen that matters or screens because Jaguar has more than one. So what you can see is that everything, the infotainment system in its whole has been shut down by the car or maybe it hasn't been shut down but it's not working. So I cannot turn off the radio, you know, I press the button, I can hold it for tw two minutes, a half hour, I've tried everything, it won't shut off, I cannot even change the level nothing so luckily I found out that over here I can actually change the station um, so we could put on some music let's see here listen to this anyway um, so but what you can also see is that yesterday my radio stopped working the whole infotainment I cannot put on heated seating anymore I cannot see the state of charge anymore except for the part that you see over here, so it shows me that I have more or less 25%, but the real percentage is over here, and obviously I cannot get there. Um, also, this morning, as you can see, yesterday, what was still working was the indicator here to tell you how far you can still drive, the gasometer, or gum, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's a pretty trustworthy thing in the Jaguar. It always overstates itself a little bit, I think. Um, but you can, yeah, you can trust it mostly. But as you can see, I have zero left. And I know in reality, with 25% right now, I should be able to get another 70 kilometers out of this thing if I'm not going too fast. But it, does, it doesn't show me anymore. And that's quite sad. So I'm gonna walk into the Jaguar Milinski dealer because I drove to Frankfurt with this car from Amsterdam yesterday. Uh, it was a really nice drive. I will tell you more about it some other day. But right now I want to fix this software issues that the whole internet has been rambling on for a couple of days now. Um, so I hope they can do a software reset for me. Let's find out. <laughs> 